This is actually happening. Honda is all set to transform the EV world with its Honda E N2. So what's intriguing about the new Honda E N2? And with this, will Honda be prevailing in the EV market with its new concept? Also, this may come as a surprise to you that the Honda E N platform is better than the Toyota E T N G platform. But how? Well, you're going to want to know more. For all these questions, make sure you watch this whole video and live your style with Honda. So fasten your seatbelts, and without any further delay, we'll go on a long drive. Honda CEO Toshihiro Mibe told Reuters about Honda's announcement. Honda is becoming an electric brand in China with a series of unique and different electric mobility products that only Honda can offer. The Honda E N2, the company's new concept car, shows this big change better than anything else. This year, Honda started selling electric cars in China. Not long after that, the company opened the E N Design Studio. Since then, this new design studio has made and shown off four electric vehicle concept cars, including the one released today. Each of these cars is meant to completely change Honda's design language and engineering focus toward EVs. The design team has made the EN SUV, the EN Coupe, and the EN GT so far. Today, the group showed off the EN2, which is based on the EN platform and looks a lot like the EN GT and Coupe. Honda's Chinese website shows the design of the new concept vehicle, but it doesn't give any technical details. Other than the ENOS software and the Architecture F, it is clear that the focus is on the way things look rather than how they work. These EN concept cars are meant to show what the future electric brand will be like, and there are a few things that stay the same. First of all, the different versions of the EN platform look a lot alike. The design language is almost the same, and the sizes are only slightly different. Another thing that they both have in common is a sharp edge, especially at the corners of the car, where the headlights and taillights emphasize the edge. Even though it was said that these concept cars would be the future of design, Honda's current lineup of electric vehicles in China looks nothing like the EN concepts. Instead, they look more like the Honda HRV from the U.S. But this could change as the brand tries to switch to electric vehicles for the Chinese market. So now let's see how the Honda EV motor engine works. In a world where batteries are becoming more and more important, Honda Engines is using the Honda EGX, a 14-pound motor that runs on lithium-ion batteries and can be used in commercial power equipment. Last year at the 2021 World of Concrete trade show in Las Vegas, the company announced this. It is made to be tough when mounted on vibrator plate compactors, rammers, and other tools used in the construction industry. With a brushless DC motor, Honda also said the car would run quietly, have less vibration, and charge quickly. The motor and battery pack can work in dusty and wet places, so they can be used indoors and out. The warranty for the battery pack is for two years, and the warranty for the motors for three years. Honda said its EGX can be switched out with a Honda GX internal combustion engine on some outdoor power equipment. The lithium-ion battery was put together in parallel and series, and it doesn't give off any greenhouse gases. Honda says that because the motor is quiet, it can be used for a long time in residential areas. In just over an hour, the battery can be recharged to 80%. It has a 2 kilowatt motor and cooling fans inside and outside. It can spin up to 3,600 times per minute. Rubber mounts are used to dampen vibrations in the power drive, motor, and battery pack. In April 2017, Honda was the first company to sell battery-powered lawn and garden tools. The company's written a corporate vision for 2030, which includes a promise to lead the effort to make the world carbon-free. In a statement, William Walton, vice president of Honda Power Equipment, said that the EGX fits with Honda's corporate vision and is part of the company's research and development strategy to balance technological innovation, performance, and environmental sustainability in Honda products and operations. He said that businesses today are shifting their supply and demand toward products with no emissions. He also said that Honda is making more products that run on batteries. But what's the difference between the EN platform and Toyota's ETN GA platform? Honda's plans for electric cars in the near future will be based on the new EN2 platform idea. The sharp, aggressive design is meant to show that the company plans to make a lot of them. By 2027, they want to release at least 10 electric cars based on the EN platforms. Honda just announced that its next electric car platform called EN2 
will be used for some of the 10 new EVs it plans to release in China by 2027. The EN2 concept's sharp and aggressive body lines may never make it to a retail vehicle, but Honda says it epitomizes the mass production route it will take in the coming years. The whole design package will provide intellectual exhilaration for passengers, who will feel one with the car thanks to minimalistic cockpit and sense stimulators like mood lighting, sense, and Honda's Connect infotainment. The front-wheel drive concept is supposed to offer better handling and stability so the driver can achieve unique driving pleasure and have a strong sense of unity with the vehicle. Honda wants to show how unique the EN2 design concept is. It doesn't look like any other EV, except maybe Tesla's angular Cybertruck. Toshihiro Miwe, the CEO of Honda, says, Honda will speed up its work on electrification in all parts of the value chain, including research and development, purchasing, production, sales, and service after the sale. It will also continue to expand in the EN product matrix. Ten pure electric vehicles will be released one after the other by 2027. At the same time, a solid and stable full value chain system will give Chinese users EN products that are a lot of fun and can be used over and over again. On the other hand, ETNGA is a set of modular car platforms that support several Toyota and Lexus models, starting with the fourth generation Prius in late 2015. TNGA platforms can be used for front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, and all wheel drive vehicles of different sizes. The platforms were made as a part of an effort by Toyota, as a whole, to make the cars it makes easier to use. Before the TNGA came along, Toyota made about 100 different kinds of platforms. By 2020, more than half of all Toyota cars sold around the world will be built on one of the five TNGA platforms. And by 2023, that number is expected to rise to about 80%. Each platform is based on a standard seat height, which lets key interior parts like steering systems, shifters, pedals, seat frames, and airbags to be used in more than one platform. These parts are often hidden, which lets cars with the same platform have different interiors. TNGA costs 20% less to make than Toyota's older platforms. It also has a stiffer chassis, a lower center of gravity for better handling, and lower hood cowls for better forward visibility. The TNGA platform was made at the same time as the Dynamic Force engine. Like the TNGA platform, the Dynamic Force engine is replacing more than 800 different engine types with 17 versions of 9 engines. The Toyota is also making its transmissions, hybrid systems, and all-wheel drive systems easier to understand and use. Even though Honda was one of the last of the top automakers in the world to announce its plan to switch to electric vehicles, it did so with a bang and set aside $40 billion US dollars for the purpose. At the moment, it only plans to sell the Honda Prologue, an electric SUV built on GM's Ultium EV platform, in the U.S. However, in China, a joint venture between GAC and Honda has already released the affordable ENP1 crossover. The $26,000 SUV is the first illustration of Honda's entry-level budget electric car strategy, which hopes to utilize the Ultium platform cooperation with GM to explore the neglected market niche of cheap sub $30,000 electric cars, which Tesla will also be aiming for with the Model 2. Overall, Honda is coming with the best choice for EVs in the market. So let us experience the power of dreams with Honda. This brings us to the end of today's video. Please comment and let us know which car you like the best. And also don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel for more. And we'll do it again soon. Thanks for watching and have a great day.